are you writing already oh, okay 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 also oh, you, you you find it uh, easier to type it out oh, okay mm. Mm. hold on this is a this is a um, I'm just wondering uh, what kind of question is this is like is it like the questions that we talk about uh, equation of uh, equation of circle question or is a uh, uh, give me some uh, context mm. yep so maybe we, we start off with that very good so maybe um, let's say this is the circle and then um, perhaps this is the center of the circle and then I think I remember one of the rules one of the rules is this um, you have a uh, you have a diameter and then uh, if this is the diameter this is the diameter right then this has to be a 90 degree okay that's one of the rule right am I right yeah but then let me answer call also. Hello, who's that? My name is Dino. Ah. Hey, uh, Alright. Is this one of them? This is I think yeah, what angle in a semicircle or something? Yeah, perpendicular uh, bisector of cut passes through the center. Uh, are you talking about this? No, no, you are not talking about this. Yeah. Uh, okay, so your your questions your questions are all in English. So yeah, this is a chord. I know that, and then yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. So uh, okay, that is uh one of the properties. Also, I know. Okay. So this is the context. Okay. So, in fact, if you have a questions like this, so, what you need to do is you need to try to sketch it out so that you have a, a diagram for you to work on okay if you don't have a diagram to work on i think it's pretty hard to do this type of question right okay so good so you have a chord which is a uh, 10 cm right and then it says uh, at a distance of 12 cm from the center so you s basically you have to you have to um wait this this is not uh, not uh, representative enough no. because clearly 10 cm has to be uh, shorter than uh, 12 cm okay so what I'm trying to say is like your sketch uh, needs not to be uh, perfect but has to be uh, representatively uh, accurate okay so maybe this is uh, more more accurate than uh, just now okay then uh, this is 10 cm then this is the cut yes and then you are asked to find the radius of the circle okay Okay, so when when it says at the distance of twelve cm from the from the center, right, I guess it must be uh, ninety degree, right? 
Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So I think you can form a uh, uh, so you can make use of Pythagoras theorem. Then you get the the the, the radius. I think the radius is just uh, use. So this is five cm. You understand me? So you have uh, so basically uh, you form a right angle triangle with this uh, twelve cm as the the this the height here, and then five cm here. And then you just use the Pythagoras theorem, then you get to uh, solve R, right? Okay, so, but there, there is this uh, uh, common mistake, okay? There is this common mistake uh, uh, by students. And uh, because we will end up with a square root, right, of this, right? So basically, you're, okay, what? Okay, so in a way, uh, so when you have R square, so when you have r square equal to this, so basically you will end up with r square equals to. Uh, can you help me out? Twenty five plus plus uh, one four four. Twenty five plus one four four one six nine. Okay. So if I'm not wrong, it's r equals to plus minus thirteen. So a lot of students, a lot of students, uh, they missed out the negative thirteen. Okay. But of course you have to reject. So r equals to thirteen. Uh, and r equals to uh, negative 13 you reject this because uh, radius can't be uh, radius can't be negative right ah okay so a lot of students they meet, meet they, they missed up this uh, uh, r equals to negative 13 you know what i'm talking about here mm, okay so when you have a uh, even power like two four and then six and then you end up with uh, two answers okay for r if you have even power for the r okay but in this case uh, r has to be positive so you reject the i equals to negative 13 okay so that's how you find the radius pretty simple okay, okay? yeah so we are done with this question okay let's go to uh, slide four let me clear it okay good Have you not have you not recovered from the your cough? Or oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Mm, yeah. Please. Okay, so can you attempt to uh, get the, get the diagram out for this question? So maybe I just help you out with the circle. You know how to insert the circle, or you don't? Uh, okay, good. Okay, it's okay. Go go ahead. So it looks like you are pretty good with this jam board already. Have you used jam board before? No. Okay. Um, these days, um, I have been I have been uh, going to uh, this uh, Bukit Merah Secondary School. So um, I'm doing relief teaching over there, and then um, they are, they are using uh, Google Classroom and uh, Jamboard quite a lot. Not this. Mm. Okay. So I excuse myself for five minutes first. Uh, someone is coming. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so you continue with this question. Just excuse myself for five minutes to attend to some uh, personal stuff first. Okay? Oh, yeah. Now, why over? How? Edmund? Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that?
Gotcha. Can you hear me? Good. So, can you do? Ah, okay. You don't know how to do it. Okay. All right. Yeah, maybe that's the reason why you are having this lesson. Huh? Okay, good. A circle of radius 5, okay, has two parallel chords of length 6. Uh, okay, one is 6, one is 8, okay. Find the possible distance between the chords. How? So, uh, yeah, this is 5, and uh, the radius is 5, right? Okay, this is 5. Okay. Then uh, they ask you to try to find the, 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 the possible distance between the chord. Means, uh, mm, so this is also 5. Then, uh, looks like you need to form the, form the right angle triangle. Mm -hmm. So this is 4, this is 4, right? Then uh, this is 3, this is 3, this is 3, right? Okay. Mm. Then, then how? Mm. Mm. Um, this is also five. Okay, done. This is also five. So in a way, right, they ask you to find this. So basically, this question, I think, is the uh, uh, another variant, you know, another variant of uh, the question just now, okay? So can you see that, can you see that you have, okay, get rid of this, eight, get rid of this, five. So this is five cm. So can you see that you have the base, you have the hypotenuse, then you can get this, and of course, you can also get this. So you form this three five. You can you can find this right, and then another one. You have five, then you have four. So you can get this as well, right? And then the two ticks here you add up to this uh, the, the 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 distance between the chords, right? Mm, okay. So, uh, yes. So, uh. I will say this kind of question. Okay, you can continue to to uh, to find out. So this kind of question, uh, it uh, it you have to uh, do some simple sketch because only when you are able to sketch them out, right, then you will start to see the full picture. Okay, if not, you don't see the full picture. Am I right? Am I right or not? Okay. Yep. Good. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, good. Next. Mm. Right, what down? Mm, okay. So you are only giving given the question in uh in English, right? Like no no diagram is given. Ah okay. So maybe that adds to the challenge. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you can, yeah. So, uh, shall we go to the next slide? Slide five. Let me just clear the screen. Mm. So, uh, in fact, I think you can also um, uh, upload the image if you, if you know how. Ah, okay, okay. So what, what I usually do is uh, I will use my phone and then I will just uh, WhatsApp to myself because there is a web, web base uh, WhatsApp something. Then you just, or email, you can email that to yourself and then you just get the, you know, get the image from your laptop and then you can just drop it to this uh, um, place. I mean, I mean, it's up to you, it's up to you. So if you can uh, draw it out by yourself and you think your drawing is good enough, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm just giving you some uh, tips uh, how you can actually upload your image. You say to yourself, you can actually drag and drop to the chat, I think. No, no, no. That, okay. In fact, right, you should look for this. Uh, actually, the whiteboard here, okay, uh, above the, the icon that you use to draw the circle, there is an image icon. You can click on, and that's how you upload. Mm. Yep, good. Oh, good, nice. Yep, just rotate a little bit. Okay, good. Wow. Okay. You're right. It's uh, super weird. Old wheel is found by your archive. Okay. The wheel can be reconstructed by deleting the original radius. How this can be accomplished? What is the question? What is the question about actually? No, it's not a math question, but I think definitely it has something to do with math but how you how you use math to explain this uh, a part of the old wheel okay the wheel can be reconstructed by determining the origin okay. yeah how you you use you use the parameter you know Okay, so you have a uh, basically you have this parameter, okay. Then uh, you also have this parameter, right? So you have okay parameter. Uh, I call this parameter one. Then you have the parameter two, right? Right. So um. So your this parameter one is given by the angle, uh, by the angle one over the three hundred sixty degree times the pi r1 r1 square right r1 means the the, the shorter one no? so imagine this okay so p2 is your angle 2 but this angle right angle 1 and angle 2 they are the same okay you understand right mm. so therefore your a1 uh, will be will be in the uh, the numerator of the second equation also. So 60 times pi r2 squared. Okay, so I think you can use the ruler to measure R, uh, p1 and p2. So this, this p1 and p2, I think you can measure. Uh, oh, so not, not R1 square, sorry, 2 pi R, sorry. This is area, I'm sorry. So sorry. Right? Yeah, 2 pi R. Okay? So once you measure the P1, which so basically, right, your P1 is known, your P2 is known, then, then, uh, yeah, 
then uh then 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 then, then what uh then basically your this uh r1 they ask you to find a radius right ah so the radius one will be given by this uh yeah so basically this is a two unknown and uh uh simultaneous equation okay is a simultaneous equations because p1 so let's say p1 you measure is uh 50 okay and then p2 you measure is 60 right so this is a uh yes this is a uh, uh so two this is equation one this is equation two so how many unknowns you have you have r1 and r2 well, well a1 and a1 they are they they, they are they are the same I think I think I think there is another formula if you refer to the formula sheet. Okay, there is a formula sheet for the E math. Okay? So let me go and uh, take it up. So uh E maths O level formula sheet. Let me take it up. Okay, so uh, they call it the arc length is R theta. Okay, good. So basically the arc length. Arc length is the P1 and the P2. Uh, it's called R theta. Okay, so basically your P, okay, your P1 is 50. So 50 is equal to R theta. And th theta is the same. So it's R1 theta. So this is 60. R2 theta, right? Mm. So, uh, yeah, theta is um I think you can measure the angle as well. Right? Yeah. So once you get the theta the actually you don't need okay, you know the you know the the the, the, the what uh, you know the uh, ratio between R one and R two because you just divide so this is equation one this is equation two if you take equation two over equation one right so what you get is uh you get uh r2 over r1 is equal to 60 over 50 so six to five i mean the ratio is six to five i mean if if you you your your this uh you, you understand the logic behind ah okay so that's how you get the r uh, uh, determine the original radius, yes. Okay. No, actually they just ask you how to determine the original radius. So you get the radius, that, that's all you need to do, right? Yeah. Okay. So, are uh, ready for the second, sec uh, another question? Then we go to the next uh, frame, which is next slide. Mm. So the question you have given me so far, they are what? They are uh, what? Practice questions, or they are going to be your um, your your school materials for uh, lessons. Oh, okay. So basically, your your teacher is going to go through them uh, tomorrow during lessons. So we you are you are actually learn learning them in advance in a way. Right. Ah, when you're good, tell me. Okay. 
个挺好的，但是怎么说上面真的就是呃像呃呃有的是。Are you sh- are we should be on uh slide six? Yeah, that's where you uh upload. Uh, if you have a question, you can upload the question. Uh, if you want to type it out, please type it out. No. Okay, sure, sure. Give me some context so I know uh what we are talking about, instead of like searching in the universe of mathematics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, okay, yeah. So this is the one I, uh, uh, yeah, I, n- I, n- I know this field. Yeah, good. Actually, I know all, 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 I still remember all of these three. Yeah, good. It's good to have this uh, 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 by the side so that uh, later, I don't think you are very familiar with these three yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's okay. So uh, you have to be super familiar with it. So uh, then you can do questions. But it's okay. It's good that you uh, park it on the side. So later uh, you can give me a question. Then I will just uh, uh, elaborate. Okay. Elaborate with, uh, with the one of these three with example. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You, you need to prove them, okay. Mm. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So uh, proving it is like a, it's just like a, it's just for you to uh, understand, you know. Right? And you don't, I don't think we want to go through the proof part here, right? As long as you can apply it. But it's okay. If you if you manage to prove it, that means you should know them very well already. Okay. So it's always good to uh, prove it yourself, because if you can prove it, then uh, it's yours. If you can't prove it, it's somebody else. So if you memorize somebody else's idea, you tend to forget. Yeah. So it's good to uh, it's good to uh, memorize it yourself, and then uh, it's good to prove it yourself, and then it becomes yours. Yeah, good, 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 good. I love, I love diagrams. Yeah, no more words. Yeah, because we are learning mathematics here. We are not learning English. Here. Mm. Okay, good. Looks good. Mm. So you're asked to find uh, X and uh, X and Y. Pardon? X and Y. Yeah. So maybe you attempt the f- uh, A yourself. Maybe you can try. Or which one you think you can, you can do? You just do that one first. Out of uh, A B C D. So I excuse myself for another five minutes, then I will come back. Okay. So you just uh, attempt one of the question first. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
对，你就给五个，你要真的要搬走的话，你第五个月结束就给一个月通知咯，就是说我下个月做完就搬走。对对。啊，这样子，所以上完租金，嗯，啊，然后到最后就是退给你。哦，为什么要六个月？你知道吗？是正常的，正常。还有一个原因，嗯，因为哦，你是住客，对，有包地主，包地主，啊，所以你的名字在在政府的一个系统系统里面。哦 ，OK， 啊，啊，一个是。对，就一个政府的啊，就是建筑局里面有你的名字，然后人力部也有你的名字，对，两个系统，所以很麻烦的。说说真的，如果你的你的名字不在系统哦，代表哦，你的被对你的那个啊，就是你的公司嘛，就会发你一个说，哎，你这个人没有屋子住了，没有地址，对，他就会来找你。好，所以为什么就六个月？对 ，OK， 好，可以，可以。所以这个包括水电网、空调啊，哦，空调就是有限定时间，对了。好，所以我把共鸣先写好。嗯。所以呢，呃，就这个是写好的，平民的。嗯，对，嗯。哎，不给丢东西，往窗口丢下去，是吗？不给带人带人上来。对。哎，呃，不可以数。嗯。好，收。哦，就全部旅行事项。抽抽抽烟有奖吗？哦，抽烟。有抽烟吗？抽烟，不能够在屋内抽烟。这边也是可以。在新加坡，不只是不能在屋内抽烟，还有不能在有屋檐的地方抽烟。你有屋檐，举个例子啊，你不在我家抽烟哦。当然你在我家抽烟，我一定是第二天叫你走的。Okay. 好，非常的。啊，就是抽烟不能在这是屋里抽。你要在户外，户外没有。你在户外没有屋檐，意思说，如果你站在外面这里抽啊，你被抓到哦，一千块。哦，这很贵的。不是我，不是我收你啊。政府。是政府啊。<笑>啊，就是隔离屋不能抽烟呗。什么？抽不了烟呗。就是在外面更不能。就是屋内不能有屋顶的地方。都不可以，啊，你要在外面，外面楼下外面，楼下那楼下，你等我们的地方，啊、你你在楼下等的地方啊,啊，那种就可以、啊，可是最好是在垃圾桶旁边，你知道吗？对啊，垃圾桶旁边。啊，不是你坐随便找个空位坐着就可以抽啊，新加坡很严格。对啊。啊，所以为什么我刚跟你讲，你人人家来这边戒烟了，对，你知道吗？你有你有看到下面，其实如果你有听过的话，他们那里有很多，有一个呃。啊啊摄像头，摄像头，新加坡到处都是。如果你底下大家下去，麻烦你告诉他、嗯，特别是在那个地方，因为那边就是看人抽烟的。哦、<笑>因为这个这个这里是市区，对，也算是旅游、啊、旅游景点了，因为、啊、那个古色水古香嘛、嗯，所以这边是很多摄像头的。对。啊，所以很方便。对。是很是真的靠近靠近工作的地方，可是可是也。也也是有很多条例的，新加坡就是很多条例的，就是出名的。对呀，不想你你被被抓到，然后一千块。对对对，那个车是一千块，所以就是。呃， okay. 然后也有试过，就是有人就是在外烟蒂掉下去有罚五百块。对，那个也是罚。烟蒂一掉下去。OK， 好、okay. 嗯。好，所以就是这样。哦，那些抓你他们不会穿着警衣，他们是便衣、啊。便服会穿。好、嗯哦，所以你要非常注意啊。说的，对，为什么刚才他跟你说抽烟的时候在那个垃圾桶？因为垃圾桶上面有可以，都有有那个点烟头的一个装烟头的。对对对。好，懂。OK， 这这个真的是蛮严重的，那个中国风。好，收这几年，对，烟的不难受。嗯，好。好。OK， 对，说我在啊，重庆一样，我对这两样有两样东西我是非常啊很严格的，第一抽烟，你在我这里抽烟，我这第二天直接叫你走。嗯。好。第一，我的我的屋子哦，太贵了，你这四百块是没有用的。如果烧起来了 ，OK， 这是第一啊，啊，你被罚款，你在外边罚款，不管我的事啦。如果你抽烟哦，我我也可以去打电话去警察那边，你也是会中啊。说真的，不要抽烟。有人真的抽烟哦，我第二天叫他走，真的。我之前对对过太多。哦，你不是第一个，我我这里出租。都都都都一样，啊，都一样啊，对，都一样，因为新加坡就是很严格，啊、因为，你我们都是租这种高楼的，对对对对所以一真的发生火患，很多人都遭殃。对，啊，这三件事情，这就是。第二个就是，啊、呃，你的东西，我这边的人应该不会拿，你也不要拿别人的东西。我操，正常、啊。这里的范围特别提醒。很好啊，啊，很好，我不是怀疑你，只不过我告诉你，这两样我是不能接受。嗯嗯。因为如果万一这两样其中一样发生了。我就是会叫你走了，或者我会除了别人拿好东西，我就那那个没有，那个我我会处理。好、哦，如果人家拿你东西，你就问一下。对对对。哎，东西不见了。对对。哦、OK， 啊，不，重要东西不要放在这里。重要东西。啊，像你的那个什么脑脑力士表啊，不要。啊，你的手机我觉得。那那是没有。啊，那就告诉你，告诉你。打个比喻啦。打个比喻啦。都啊，就是这两样。嗯
我真的会报警的，报警哦，我也不想刚刚来新加坡报警，然后进去，其实对外国人啊，在新加坡对外国人来说啊，如果你一去警察局哦，你被遣送回国，这个真的是有点灾难了、啊，我我不想看到了。不想，真的不想。大家都是来这里工作赚钱，开心，对不对？我这个很简单，开心的进来住，开心的走就好。嗯。我们没有什么恩怨，没有。对对对。OK， 就这样子的，好，就六个月而已。好，谢谢你啊。对，可以了，可以了。好，可以了。Thanks, thanks. Sorry, ah. Yep, sorry, sorry. Good. Yep, I'm back. Yep, sorry, sorry for for my personal uh 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 some personal matters. Okay, so how? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, good. So in a way, right? Uh. I will say uh, all these question uh, are they A, B, C, D, right? They make use of just, uh, I think, uh, one concept. The concept is uh, angle at center is two times angle at circumference. Let me give you a, uh, let me just, can I drag this, uh, can I copy and paste somewhere? Okay, let me, yeah, okay, good. Let me just drag it aside. Let me uh, get it out to another slide. So let's go to slide seven so that uh, you can work on this question uh, on a clean slide. Okay, good. So I think question A, uh, X is pretty obvious, like angle at center. I think this is the angle at center, the X, right? So angle at center is two times. So uh, that's how I write it. Angle at center equal to uh, angle uh, uh, two times. Okay, is equal to two times angle at circumference. Two times angle at the circumference. Okay. Okay. So that's how I write the the, the reason. Okay. And in fact, you have to write the reason. Okay. In fact, you have to write the reason. So therefore, your x should be fifty, right? Yeah, okay. And in fact, why is the angle at the circumference? Okay, if you look closely enough. Did you look closely enough? To see uh, this uh, y is actually also the angle uh, at the circumference. So this is the angle at center, which is 50. This is the angle at the circumference also. You mean this one? 
that one that one is the angle um that one is the angle at the su circumference but uh it doesn't work this way okay it doesn't work this way um okay so let's go to uh, uh b so this is the angle at center okay then this is the angle at the circumference okay so um so same thing so if this is the angle so this is the angle 50 at center this is the angle at the circumference okay so in a way right you, you okay let me just draw the circle out okay so if i have to uh, this is the center so okay so this is the angle at center so uh this is the angle at center uh, then this is the angle at the circumference not this one uh, this one no uh. okay okay so you try to you try to you try to look from this perspective so imagine this is your eyes this is your eyes so you try to look at it from this perspective so if this is the center this is the angle at the center then this one will be the angle at the circumference okay so you try to look look from this angle you try to look from this angle so therefore this is the angle at, at the circumference angle at the circumference okay so basically right angle at center is always uh two times the angle at circumference okay can you can you circle which one which one you're talking about now no 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 this is not the angle of circumference you have to use another method to uh get this i mean i i already asked you to see it from this perspective this is your eyes so the same thing if you look at if you look at here if you look at uh right here so you will see that uh, uh that's why i say this 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 one uh, this one is not the angle at circumference i mean this is the angle at circumference this is the angle this is also the angle at the circumference but you cannot use this rule okay maybe i need to be more uh, specific the rule the rule apply only when uh, this is the angle at center. I'm, I'm talking about this one now. I'm talking about this one now. Huh? So I'm talking about. Uh, so basically, uh, you are right. You are right to say this is also the angle at circumference. So okay. So let's let's try to do do this one. Okay. Let's talk about this question first. So basically, you have this uh, angle at the circumference. This is all angle at uh, circumference. This one. So I call this uh, angle one. So you also have an uh, angle two. This is also an angle at circumference. But which one is is uh is having a, a two times relationship with the angle at center is is the angle one. Because you look 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 at it from this perspective. Okay, so if you look at it from this perspective. Uh, you just go through. This is the center. Then this is the angle at circumference. Then these two these two is is the the uh, these two will follow the relationship angle at center is two times the angle at circumference okay you understand can you uh can you this one this one oh th okay this one is the, the 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 angle on the straight line you know so basically you are you are, you are, you are saying angle on the straight line so if you get this then you can get this they add up to so this is angle 3 angle 4 they add up to 180 that is another method yeah, yeah. Uh, okay so if that that one is the angle at center right then okay good then you, sh you should look from the other perspective already right? No, hold on, hold on. If this is the angle, so basically you 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 look from this this perspective already, right? 
So if this is the angle at center, uh, instead of this, so there, there is no angle at the circumference unless, unless there is no angle at circumference. I mean, this is the angle at circumference. The angle one is the angle at circumference. The angle two also angle at circumference. But uh, there is no angle at circumference that has a relationship with this angle at center. Because if you look, if you look from this perspective, there's 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 no angle here that that has a relationship uh, with the, this um, uh, this angle at center. Make sense? So what I'm trying to, 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 to tell you here is also, uh, it applies to this uh, question B. I think this is the angle at circumference, angle 1, angle at circumference. This is also angle at circumference, angle 2. This is also angle at circumference, angle 3. This is also angle at circumference, 4. Then the small one is angle at circumference. Okay. But there is only one angle among all these angles at circumference that has a two times relationship with the angle at center here. right which is which is angle one the rest no the rest you have to use some other uh, uh, techniques or rules okay all right so you are right to say there are many angles at the circumference but for part b there is only one that has a two times relationship okay the rest, the rest, no. They are angles at circumference, but they don't have this. Uh, that means the, the, the angle at center equals to two times angle at circumference. This rule does not apply to the other angles. Make sense? Mm, okay. Okay. So if I'm going to give you another perspective, so let's go to slide eight. Let's do... Uh, so we talk about our uh, part B, uh, question B. Let me upload uh, this image. So in fact, part B, right? Uh, okay, let me rotate it, then you can see better. Okay, so if you look at part B, uh, so it's very simple. So let's say, uh, let's say if they want, the, they want to find this 40, right? They actually, they give you this 40. Uh. So it, you can extend this line. Uh, you can extend this line. Uh. Actually, this is 80. Because this is, this is the angle at center, which you, 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 you asked me just now, right? And then now, if you look from this perspective, this is your eyes. If you look from this perspective, this is the angle at the circumference, oh, which has a two times relationship with this angle at center. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? So what I'm trying to tell you is this rule applies, but not every single time. Does it make sense to you now? Ah, okay. It applies, but not every single time. Okay. Mm. Okay. Good. Mm. Then, uh, that, that's how you find x. Then, of course, once you find x, you can find y, lah. Yeah. For b. Okay. Then, uh, which question you say you don't know how to do at all? Let's see. Okay. Hold on. Uh. uh hey, when you do uh properties of circle uh question right uh. Uh, you have to uh. Okay. Uh, you have to apply all things that uh, that you know. Okay. So uh, this is this is the radio. Uh, this is the diameter. And then this is ninety. Okay. Yeah, it's ninety. So uh. Uh, this is given as 20, right? 
Okay. So, yep. Okay. So over here, right? Then there is another rule you need to use, which is called. Okay. We we just now we had a deep dive. We had a deep dive into the uh, angle eccentric equals to two times the angle circumference, and the rule applies very selectively, right? Then now there is another rule I want to introduce to you. That's called angles, uh, in the same segment. And by the way, your school might use another uh, another uh, statement, but uh, the idea the idea is the same. Okay, angles in the same segment. So, uh, what is angle at the same segment? So let me just uh, take A as an example. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, let's have a five minute break so that uh, we come back for the second half. Mm, okay, good. So I see you in uh, five, uh, five minutes. Huh?